Daniel Fisher, Director of Product Optimization here at Sweetwater Sound. Today I'm excited to show you our value added for the Juno DS61 and DS88. Um, this is a great low price keyboard that does everything. In fact, it does so many things that I think a lot of people who have it or will get it might not use everything on here. And so as a value added, I found this thumb drive, which is just amazingly small. And it fits right in the back of the unit and it fits in the recessed area. So you can put it in there and leave it. No one's going to pull it out. No one's going to break it off. And uh, let me stick that in back here. And now that eight gigabyte thumb drive is filled with um, expansion wave data. It's got extra programs. It's got samples for a phrase pad. I tried to put a little something of everything so you could see how it was done and then put your own in there. I put some sound effects in. I put some things to jam along with. I put some 808-909 drum loops. Uh, just a lot of fun stuff. But the, the really exciting one I want to show you first is the wave expansion data. So whenever you take a keyboard to the gig, you go, well, I, I like all the sounds, but man, I really wish I had more pianos, or I really wish I had more electric pianos, or more strings, or more guitars, or more orchestral stuff, or more world stuff. And basically, they give you libraries for each of those things. You've got dance tracks, keys, world, concert piano, electric piano, studio, brass, strings, uh, another piano, and orchestral. And to put them in, you can have one at a time, um, since you now have this thumb drive in there permanently, all you have to do is you power off and you hold the numeric button and power back on. And so now you can see we're in the wave update mode and there are 10 files, uh, exp1 through exp10, and you can scroll to the one that you want. And so um, to help you remember which is which, I'm going to give you a hard copy of those 10 files, as well as they're on the thumb drive, which you can drag to your computer so you can see it there. But let's say I choose the first one, which is Studio. Then all you do is press Enter, and it's going to say, Are you sure? And then I press Enter again, and here it's telling you it's the Dance Tracks collection. And then I'm writing. So now you just wait three or four minutes, and that will load in, and that will stay in permanently until you erase it or put a different expansion file in there. Now I'm going to go have a quick drink. And so now we're going to go up here. We're going to change this to, instead of preset, we're going to change it to EXP. And now it's going to show all of the available things inside. So you got kits. Then you have the entire kick menu. <gasps> then snares. And on and on with snares and rims and hats. As well as toms. Then symbols. <laughs> Claps. Then hits. <laughs> and I know I'm going fast through these things, but there are thousands and thousands of them. Remember, this is all in addition to what's already in this machine, which is quite a bit. Good evening, hey, ladies and gentlemen. On and on and on, then beat menus.
And remember, these can all be pitch shifted up or down. They can be placed in different areas of the keyboard, depending on what you want to do. If you use a performance, you can split all this up. Um, endless numbers of these. So now let me load another expansion. Again, you power off, you hold numeric, press and hold numeric, C in three minutes. So I just power off, power back on. And I've also included a list with all of the instruments from each of the 10 expansion banks uh, on the thumb drive. So you can print it out if you want. Again, you go up here, you go from DS to past preset, past GM to expansion. And now here's the first stereo piano. This one's called Grand Piano. Easy Rocker. Stage Grand. Another rocker. Padded. EPs.
Obviously, there are way too many of these to show. I'm going to move on to the next EXP.
All right, so the next thing we have here is uh, the phrase pad. And so I have a bunch of samples that I've put into folders and I set up a bunch of extra folders. So all you gotta do is drop your own stuff into it. But just to show you how to use it, you press audio, you wait a second till it loads, and then you hit one of the eight buttons and it shows you the title of each thing. So here's a little blues and C. Hit it again, you stop it. I have different keys. And the point of it is, any .wav file that you drop in there, uh, it's just going to work. And I have the folders all set up for you. And then if you want to change to a different bank of pads, uh, you just dial it up. And you can have as many of these banks as you have room on your card. This card has 8 gigabytes. So here's a whole bunch of 808s. I just hit enter. It takes a minute to queue them all up. And so now I've got a bunch of 808 loops. And then I got 909 loops. And some sound effects. But the point of those is not really the sound effects, but just to show you where to put things and everything's organized for you. I've also put on the thumb drive the Juno DS Juno DI editor for both Mac and PC, uh, the DS drivers for Mac and PC, uh, the manuals for the expansion waves that also list all the programs it comes with. Uh, I've given you the DS librarian for Mac. Uh, and then we have all of the full manuals uh, plus the library manual, media implementation, parameter guides, plus the addendum for 1.04. And then I took the main manuals and broke them down into individual sections. So if you, for example, just wanted to work on art parameters, I take you right to that page and that's the only page in that PDF. So it's very easy to find what you're looking for. Uh, if you wanted to see the effects list, bang, there's your effects list. And it just shows you everything about each effects type. And you could do that for all the kind of questions you might have about the unit. And then we also have links to lots of video tutorials. Um, I have import samples. Uh, I give you a bunch of cool harp up and down samples. Uh, but they're there to just show you how to drag your own samples into that location. And we also have songs that go to the pads to include a bunch of blues in different keys, slow blues in different keys, uh, some 808 grooves, 909 grooves, plus a lot more folders where you can just drag your own .wav files in and they will immediately be assigned to those pads. Basically, this whole package is just a way of giving you a very convenient 8 gigabyte thumb drive that fits in there, that stays in there. It has everything that I've pulled off the Axial site. It has all 10 of the uh, wave expansions. Um, I have the phrase pad folders all set up for you. All you gotta do is just drop your own wave files in there. I have a whole bunch of folders in there. All you gotta do is name them. And uh, basically it turns this into a powerhouse keyboard that's perfect for whatever specific sounds you need and has all the sound effects and phrase and intros and outros you might need. The whole thing is extremely light. It can run on AA batteries, um, just a crazy thing. It can even record external audio while you're having the gig, uh, both uh, audio and MIDI if you wanted to record a concert that way. So anyway, uh, all of this just comes with uh, DS61 and the DS88 if you get it from us. If you have any further questions about this, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. My name is Daniel Fisher, thank you very much for listening. <music>